hello hello thank you so much for joining me today i want to show you another um project that i do i say you are desiring something you're looking to manifest something this is a nice little thing that project that you can conduct it doesn't take much you just need a white candle now i'm just showing you the smallest one because these burn in about two hours or so and then these burn in a few days so it's up to you you can use one or both a combination of them. Either one is up to you. Now, what you can do with these, you can just sum up what you want or you're trying to manifest and write it on here if you like. Or you can write around the surface of it or under it with a marker. And you can do the same thing with this. Write around it, going around it, you know, around it, or up and down. If I'm If I'm trying to manifest something I gain something I'd write going up not down I would write going up or write going around 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 or you can write underneath either one is up to you so if you have a skewer um, I like to use a skewer you can use a stylus metal one or you can use an ink pen the other thing I like to do is I like to poke a hole in here in the candle now, these tea light candles, you can't, you cannot use that much oil because they're very small. You don't want the oil to soot up. And then in this, you can just poke holes down in it all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Some things I'll tell you, you discover by chance. This is hard to press down in there. Um, so if you really want to, if you're having a candle that's really stiff, you can set it on the windowsill, let the sun hit it and warm it up a little bit. And then the skewer will go right down in it. And the reason you're doing that, you don't have to push, press it all the way down in the bottom. The reason you put a couple of holes in it is so that you can drop your oil in it. So for something that I'm, I'm, I'm manifesting, a project that I'm using to manifest, you can heighten your energies or the energies working with this by using some Van Van oil or um, attraction oil or magnetic oil some people like the lucky oils depends on what you're using you can do that you place a few drops in it you know in the holes not much because you don't want it to soot up all right now the other thing to this is this is what you're going to use because it's like a childlike thing you want a dandelion yes you want a dandelion and you pluck off a few dandelion seeds these are seeds just pluck off a few and drop down in there think about what you're manifesting you want to manifest or your desires that you want to come to fruition and you just put them on there now the way these are made some may burn because it gets close to the flame it may burn but when you're a child we used to get these um, and we used to Make a wish and blow the dandelion seeds and just blow them out into the air. And so if you want, you can make up a little childhood rhyme. You know, I wish I wish this wish I wish I wish I might, you know, and then you say whatever your wish is. Um, another thing you can do, this is what I have here. And so for this, I, I like to pull everything, everything into the working of the energies that God, the Father, and Jesus have done. So that's up to you how you do what you do. But this is what I do. And so what I wrote is, um, and this is why I always say write it. You write what you want before you say it. And you can tweak it as you're writing it. Write it down, read it to yourself, then come back and tweak it. So in the beginning I put, this wish I say, come right away. It is a blessing from the Lord, I pray. That's what I wrote. You want it to sound childlike, upbeat, you know, happy, happy, happy. Because adults are a little too serious and children have that innocence about them that seems to draw things to them. So that's really the, um, the reason behind using the dandelion. I went back and tweaked it and I said, this wish and desire, I say, manifest and come right away. It is a blessing from the Lord, I pray. 
Then you write your desire or your wish down, and then you give thanks to the Lord. So when you getting, so you write all that down, and then you hold the candle in your hand after you've put everything on here you want to put on here. Hold it in your hand, and then you recite this, keeping in mind the exact thing that you want. See it coming to you. See it in your hands, just like I'm holding this candle. It will replace the candle in my mind's eye. And I'm drawing it to me, and then I have it, and I hold it in my hand. And then I set this down and light it. Now, if you want, you can recite this again as you light it. And that's it. But again, you want to keep it light. You want to keep it nice and cheerful and childlike so that that thing that you desire will come to you. And then you keep in that cheerful mindset and heart set until you receive it. Once you receive it, give thanks for it. Okay? Thanks for joining me. Show a little channel love by hitting the like and the subscribe button.